Hello, this is Dr. Ned Hallowell for Distraction. Today we have a mini episode, a listener question. I will read the question and give you an answer to the best of my ability. Here we go. Quote, My beloved 11-year-old son has had a number of episodes of lying over the years, and this recent one is a bit more serious. He lied about the status of some overdue English work at the end of the quarter and stuck with the lie and branched it out for a week until we outed him through communication with the teacher. He got a failing grade for the quarter. When I later asked him if he lies to avoid a sticky situation, like acknowledging that he didn't do what he was supposed to do or what was told to do, he said yes, and it seemed truthful. He also acknowledges that he gets in much bigger trouble for lying about things than if he just fessed up, that he didn't brush his teeth, walk the dog, turn in the assignment, etc. He is a very sweet and considerate kid, not particularly oppositional or prone to serious misdeeds. My conundrum is how best to respond. We put consequences in place, and for the bigger lies, the consequence, loss of screen time, is longer. Lately, I have pointed out that in other situations, my response to him is different now, because I cannot know when he is telling the truth and when he's not. I know he often does tell the truth, but the lies are frequent enough to eliminate any certainty. I explain over and over that if people don't trust your word, it will limit your opportunities and relationships. I would love to hear any insight or suggestions you have about this. Thank you. Well, first of all, it's it's very common for kids with ADHD to lie, very common for kids in general to lie, but for kids with ADHD particularly. And it, and it is a form of impulsivity, it, not a character defect. See, what happens is they see the opportunity to say, I handed in my homework, and they say, I handed in my homework, and then it's out. You know, they impulsively tell the lie, and then they have to stand by it because it's out. And so what you want to do is treat it as a, as a habit to break, not a moral failing. And, and you want to come at it with, with that, not, not as a, not as a uh, punishment reward kind of thing, you know, that it's, it's it, unless it is, unless he is developing, a, you know, a lack of conscience and a disregard for what's right and wrong. If, if, if it's that, which it usually is not, then it's a more serious issue. But if it's most of the time in the world of ADD, it's simply impulsive lying. This is a habit that the older you get and the more you do it, you'll, you'll get into tremendous trouble. So you want to catch yourself, and the minute you tell the lie, immediately retract it. Say, whoops, that was a lie. The homework's not done. Uh, the, the reward will be you'll keep yourself out of trouble and, and, and just have a campaign for uh, truth-telling. And get buy-in. You know, have them realize that uh, uh, this is a bad habit and then have him buy into breaking it. it. It really will come back to haunt him in a terrible way if he can't break the habit. But he should do it not out of a sense of shame, as if he's a bad kid, but out of a sense of, uh, I, I want to break this before I get myself into trouble. This is a dangerous habit to have, and the longer it goes on, uh, the more trouble he can get into. And people will understand if you take it back right away. Then you've, you've basically undone the lie, and, and, and then you, you can get out of it pretty quickly. That's my best advice. It's a common problem, but it is a solvable problem. Get on it right away. This is Dr. Ned Hallowell for Distraction. <laughs>